Hello dear students today we are going to start with chapter 2 of our 10th class chemistry acids bases and salts in this chapter we are going to study the definitions of acids and base their properties their various chemical reactions and different kinds of salts generally the students think that only sodium chloride is the salt no it's not like that there are various salts which are used in our daily life so in this chapter we are going to study all those salts which we are using in our daily life how they are prepared and what are their other uses etc so for the convenience in the first part we'll be going to discuss acids and base and salts will be studying separately so let us begin first of all what do you mean by acids so acids are the substances that releases h plus ions in aqueous solution aqueous solution means when they are dissolved in water what are the properties of acids the first one just now i told you that they release h plus ions in aqueous solution secondly all acids are sour in taste we know lemon orange tamarind all these are sour in taste and therefore they are acidic in nature thirdly they are corrosive in nature that means they can ca cause corrosion of metals of marbles you must have seen at your homes that when a drop of two drops of acid fall on the marble marble in that area gets corroded next is they change the color of blue litmus to red in chemistry colors and odors are very specific one and you have to remember these colors and odors so what acid uh, what is the speciality of acid it changes its color sorry it changes the color of the indicator blue litmus to red now this indicator we are going to study in detail in today's part of the video and lastly it conduct electricity now there are various types of acids so what are those types of acids we study two types of acids one is organic acids and another is mineral acids organic acids are those which are derived from plant or animal sources i can also say that organic acids are present in the bodies of the plants and animals and generally they contain c o o h group and therefore we also call them as carboxylic acid for example h c o o h also called as methanoic acid which is present in the body of ants c h 3 c o o h acetic acid which is generally derived from vinegar these are organic acids in 10th class we are not going to study organic acid only an elementary idea will be studying in chapter 4 but right now we are going to discuss about the mineral acid what are mineral acids these are derived from various minerals for example hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid etc so in this chapter we'll be discussing 
these mineral acids their chemical properties and so on so this was all about acids let us study bases so now let us discuss what are bases bases are the substances that releases oh minus ions in aqueous solution so now let us discuss what are the properties of base the very first property as i have discussed just now that they releases oh minus ions in aqueous solution secondly these are bitter in test all basic substances will be bitter in test they are soapy in nature that means if you touch basic substances you will experience them as a slippery as a soapy one they are also corrosive in nature like we have seen the types of acids we are going to discuss types of base also there are two types of base one is water soluble and another is water insoluble water soluble base are called as alkalies whereas water insoluble base we call them as basic substances only remember all alkalies are base or basic but all bases are not alkalies because all bases are not water soluble and therefore all bases are not alkalies now suppose in chemistry lab in one test tube acid is given to you and in one test tube base is given to you both are colorless then how you are going to identify the identification becomes little bit difficult if we don't touch them and therefore we take the help of indicators so what are indicators indicators are the substances or the dye that changes its color when they come in contact with acidic or basic medium so we are going to study basically indicators in this part of video there are three types of indicators natural synthetic and olfactory natural means obviously which are directly derived from the nature from certain flowers like lichen or uh, litmus is a natural indicator which is the most common indicator used in the lab then turmeric this is also a natural indicator extract of red cabbage leaves that is also a natural indicator synthetic indicator that means they are prepared artificially they are prepared in the lab for example phenolphthalein methyl orange these are kind of synthetic indicators olfactory indicator they change their smell or they change their odor i will say when they come in contact with acidic or basic medium
chemistry is all about colors and odors in chemistry we'll be studying lot of gases which of particular smell which will be uh, also discussing many substances which have very particular color so olfactory indicators change their odor when they come in contact with either acidic or basidic medium for example onion vanilla essence etc so now let us see how these indicators changes their color and helps to identify when they come in acidic or basic medium so in this table i have shown the indicator its color in neutral medium and how do they change its color in acidic and basic medium first i have taken the examples of natural indicators these are natural indicators so first one litmus there are two types of litmus blue and red basically both are purple in color now blue litmus when they come in acidic medium they change their color to red but in basic medium there is no change that means the color will remain purple it's blue itself red indicator or red litmus when they come in contact with acidic medium there is no change but they, when they come in contact with basic medium they change their color to blue red cabbage leaves extract which is a kind of natural indicator its color in neutral medium is purple but in acidic medium it changes its color to red and in basic medium it changes its color to green the flowers of hydagnia plant its neutral medium color is blue even in the acidic medium its color remains blue but when they come in contact with basic medium they change their color to pink or red turmeric its color in neutral medium is yellow in acidic medium also the color remains yellow that means turmeric if comes in contact with acid like hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid then it is not going to change its color it will remain yellow itself but turmeric when comes in contact with basic medium like turmeric when they come in contact with sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide they change its color to brownish red similarly phenolphthalein which is a kind of a synthetic indicator in neutral medium it is colorless if i put some drops of phenolphthalein in acidic medium like if i put some drops of phenolphthalein in hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid etc then also the color do not changes it remains colorless only but if i put some drops of phenolphthalein in basic medium that is if i put the drops of phenolphthalein in sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide then its color changes to pink depending on indicators uh, change the color in which kind of medium we can classify the indicator into acidic or basic medium for example blue litmus changes its color when it comes in contact with acid and therefore it will be called as a acidic medium red litmus changes its color when it comes in contact with base like magnesium hydroxide sodium hydroxide etc therefore it will be called as a basic indicator red cabbage will be also called as a basic indicator as it changes its color in basic medium flowers of hydagnia plant turmeric phenolphthalein all these will be called as basic indicators as they change their color in basic medium moving on to next synthetic indicator that is methyl orange its color in neutral medium remains orange but if i put some drops of methyl orange in any acid that is if i bring methyl orange in contact with acidic medium it color changes to red and in basic medium it color changes to yellow so phenolphthalein and methyl orange are two most commonly used synthetic indicators in chemistry lab onion and vanilla these are olfactory indicators now based on onion that is it is an olfactory indicator just now in 2020 board exams a question was asked that identify the type of indicator onion so answer is it's an olfactory indicator it do not changes its odor in neutral or acidic medium but it will lose its smell or it will lose its odor in basic medium 
and therefore it is also kind of basic indicator but in board exams you will write the answer olfactory now vanilla vanilla essence in neutral or acidic medium there will be no change in its odor but it will lose its smell in base medium and therefore vanilla is also a kind of basic indicator so in this part of video we have discussed about what are properties of acids base what are their types what are indicators and using indicators how can we identify acid or base in our next part of the video we'll be discussing the chemical properties of acids and base thanks for watching have a nice day happy learning